Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Andrew Laidley. Standard & Poor's Global Ratings today affirmed Jamaica's credit worthiness at B+, with the outlook remaining negative. The S&P ratings outcome accounted for the economic and financial realities faced by the country arising from the COVID-19 pandemic and the actions undertaken to minimize the effects. The onset of the pandemic disrupted the trend of fiscal surpluses realized over the past three years, with Jamaica programmed to post a fiscal deficit this year. While other Caribbean countries are improving in terms of productivity, Jamaica is getting worse. President of the Private Sector Organization of Jamaica, PSOJ Keith Duncan, highlighted the issue while explaining why Jamaica's gross domestic product, GDP, has been subdued over the past two decades. We have declined to 19,840 at the end of 2019, while the Dominican Republic has moved from 26,000 productivity per capita to 40,000. We have been losing productivity and growth must be related to that because if you're a productive economy, then you should be able to um, generate greater growth. Now, co-chair of the Economic Policy Committee at the PSOJ, Jeffrey Hall, says the key to securing a larger GDP is to increase foreign direct investments. He says that's an area where Jamaica is behind other countries in the region level of investment in Jamaica. So we have to figure out how to fix that immediately. And the starting point for the, for the conversation has been to identify people who are currently investing in Jamaica in significant quantums, either from the standpoint of employment or dollars, and figure out why they're here and whether we can pursue them to put some more money here. Currency trading ended today with the U.S. dollar selling for $144.52. The Canadian sold for $112.63. The pound closed at $193.88, while the euro is going for $177.83. The JSE index gained 1,803 points today, and the junior market index is up 20 points. Among the winners were ISP Finance Services, Access Financial Services, Dolphin Cove, Panjam Investments, and Fosrich. On the losing side were Portland JSX, Cargo Handlers, Everything Fresh, Palace Amusement, and Derrimon Trading. And that's the Business Day. I'm Andrew Laidley. Good evening.